Hey you guys, welcome to episode 7 of Addicted to Growth. Now, if you don't know what's been going on, the past 6 episodes will explain it, so go check them out. Basically, I left David for a few months back in 2019. We separated and I moved to Tennessee from North Carolina and I'm here to explain it all. You probably missed a lot in episode 6, so make sure to go check it out before you watch this one. While all this craziness was happening, I was making sure to keep the kids very active like I was stating in the other episodes. So in order to do that, I was thinking about different activities that I can bring them to. Now remember, back in 2019, we didn't have to wear masks because there wasn't really coronavirus yet. So I, took a, I looked up different playgrounds to take them to and I found this really cool wooden playground and it reminded me of my childhood. If you know it or not, I grew up in Pennsylvania and then I moved to North Carolina when I was 12. So growing up in Pennsylvania, we would go to these wooden playgrounds and they would be the coolest thing ever. It would look like a little castle for kids and we would go there for hours and my mom would always bring us to them. Well, I found one in Tennessee that I brought the kids to and I loved it and I took them there a lot. And um, I'm really happy we got to make some good memories there. Ansley, Ansley, this way, this way. Good job, babe. <laughs> You see Kaiser? Yeah, right there. Not looking at you. <laughs> Be nice, Kaiser. Put your feet up there. Put your feet up there. Ready? Ready? During this time, Ensley and Kaiser really didn't have any idea what was going on. Kaiser had a few questions like, where's David? Are we going to go back home to North Carolina? And how long are we staying here for? It was a lot of questions that were up in the air um, for them and myself because I wanted to stay in Tennessee, but I felt very uncomfortable. And because I wasn't familiar with my surroundings and to just get up and leave my home was a very big move for me and very stressful. I felt like it wasn't a culture shock, but to just move to, 
to just get your two kids and leave to another state that you've never been to before. You have no family there. It's just a very scary situation. So I felt uncomfortable for a while. Be nice. Watch out for that little boy, okay? Go, Kaiser, go. Go. Go in, come here. Go ahead. Just don't fall at the end. Yeah, turn. Good job. I'll catch you. Ready? Set. One more time. <laughs> it's whatever, yeah. Oh. you do that one, babe? Now, my mom, on the other hand, when I first moved to Tennessee, she was uh, really, she was scared for me. She was nervous for me. And she wanted everything to go smoothly. She saw how much I initially liked it there. When she ended up coming for Thanksgiving, she went and looked at houses to buy. And she was actually going to buy one, but she backed out at last minute because she said, I don't know what Janelle's gonna do ultimately. And she doesn't even know what she's gonna do. So I'm just gonna keep my house in North Carolina. So she ended up not moving. Ensley was around two, turning three. Kaiser was four, about to turn five. And um, and then Jace was 10 years old. Kaiser. I don't. Do you? Um, yeah. Oh, look at those pigtails. <laughs> Can you swing without us pushing you? I will give you one good push, okay? No, two. two. I can't do it still uh, here. Uh. Careful. <laughs> Here you go, Fred Cassidy. Cool. Yeah, he's on that one and you're on that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Jace was really upset with me moving to Tennessee because I used to see him every other weekend and he would come on his two week breaks from school. And then that kind of all got put on hold because he had to come when he just had breaks for school. And um, it was a long, long ways away. It was, it's about from here to where I was living in Tennessee, it's about a 12 hour drive. Also in Tennessee, we had a one hour time difference in North Carolina because they're on central time. So I FaceTimed Jace as much as I could and he ended up coming for Thanksgiving with my mom and the Christmas holidays and he stayed with me in my new apartment. It was very different for everyone, like I said, and um, in the end, I don't think any of the children liked to be in Tennessee. 
maybe to visit, but ultimately Jace did want to go back to North Carolina. Down here. You see me? She's on it, okay? Ready? Okay. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Ensley, sit on it. Sit, babe. You got it? Put my foot up. Okay. Ready? Hold Ready on. For okay. butt? Okay. I'm gonna go high, okay, babe? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go high. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go around the circle. <laughs> hey, Kaiser, stop. Stop. Ready? Swing two, Ensley zero. <laughs> I know. Swing like five. <laughs> swing, swing five, Ensley zero. I know in this episode you see a dog that you're introduced to, and that's actually Rosie. That is my golden doodle I ended up getting for me and the kids when we moved to Tennessee. And before I got this dog, I looked up the breed, I looked up the personality, I did my research, and they said they're really good with kids, really good with families. So and very loyal to their owner. So I was like, this, this has to be a perfect dog. And ever since she has been really perfect and she's great for the kids and she keeps up with their energy. <laughs> I was still staying at the Airbnb when I got my dog Rosie. And I know what you're thinking, why did you get a dog when you didn't even have your own place yet? And I know it was a stupid move, but I feel like me and the kids, we needed something to make us happy and keep us busy again so we got her and we still have her and she's a great dog and our family loves her so ultimately it was a great decision getting Rosie so that's the end of episode seven make sure to check out episode eight next week and I'll see you then